For me, being a mom has always been the greatest joy in the world, but also the most frightening thing in the world. And I remember when the doctor handed Samara to me, thinking, oh my gosh, am I gonna mess this up? And then when I became a mom, it was almost like being a professional mom. I took it very seriously, and there were all these things I wanted to make sure that I was doing. I had to do, do, do. And then God really just um, slowly and continuously kept pointing out to me that my children didn't need me doing things. It wasn't up to me to constantly do, it was up to me to be. I'm the only mom they have, and I need to make time to be with them. And as God taught me that principle, how important it was to be with Him, to spend time in the Word daily, and to be um, refueled by Him, then it would help me when I was with my children and with my family. And when I see moms that are trapped doing and constantly thinking they have to do all of this stuff to be okay as a person, for their children to be okay, it really grieves me. And so I just have this heart, probably the biggest part of what God asks me to tell other moms is to be, be with your child. When it's all said and done, I have a 20 year old that went off to college and what matters the most is the relationship that we have because consistently through the years, I took time to be with her. Mom Life Today is about showing moms the way, helping them understand how God, if He is central in their life, that they can do this motherhood thing. And our heart is for moms to learn what they need to learn on Mom Life Today, no matter what stage of life they're in. We all have mom life seasons, and if we can learn what we need to be doing in that mom life season, then the moms that we go to play group with, the moms that we see at the PTA, the moms that we see at a homeschool convention, the moms that we see in church, in Bible study, in the grocery store, whatever we may have read that day or the week before, it's in our mind and then we can share it with someone else. Our heart is to influence you for Christ so that you can influence others for Christ. And quite frankly, we don't want you on the website all the time. We want you to come and get what you need and then leave and go out and live life and be with your family and be with other people in your community. But take what you learn that you know God is using us. It's amazing to me, it's humbling to me when we get letters and moms say, I understand being a mom so much more because of what I've read here, what I've learned here. And what we want is for them to then take that and share it with others. And more than anything, we want them to know our source. It has nothing to do with us and who we are and how much we know. It has to do with the one that we know and that Jesus Christ has taught us to be a servant leader. And we want other moms to know that too. Hey, you, mom, how long have you been on the internet? It may be time to go check out what's happening with your kids. We all spend way too much time on the internet. Go, go, go have fun.